Hi and welcome to this DCP Way tutorial. In the seventh part of this Movie Edit Pro Plus tutorial, we're going to add a little text ticker tape that will scroll across the bottom of this video content. So we, what we want to do is scrub across this video content and work out where we want to place that ticker tape. So it'll be roughly around somewhere here. So if I click the play button, so there's a few different ways that you can do this. I'm speaking at this point here, but I want what really what I want to happen is a little ticker tape to scroll across the bottom asking people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So to do this, I'm going to go to templates. And in templates, we looked at transitions before, and here you can see the title templates. And there's loads of different versions of titles. Some are good for intro, some are good for you know all different types of effects. You need to go and experiment with all of these different ones. And I want to use uh, movement basic yeah so we click on here and inside of here um, we'll have all these different options and then this is the one that I want to focus on you can see it scrolls across the bottom so I want some sort of message saying subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, for free access to my video or something like this so I'm going to take this ticker I'm going to drag and drop it below the video here at this position and then the title editor is going to pop up and here I want to type in the text. So I'm going to say, don't forget want to put something like this don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for free access to all my video tutorials so then we can add some effects to this we can change the font color so it happens to be white now we could change it to a different color maybe we'll make it uh, red for example so it stands out so the font will be red and then you can change the font style so maybe we we'll want to use something like Arial here so we can change it to Arial font we can make it bold uh, we can make it italic there's loads of different options here you can change the spacing uh, the vertical and horizontal spacing between the characters and the letters and stuff like this uh, there's loads of different stuff here you can set transparency and blur effects as well um, and whether it has a background color so that you have to really sit down and experiment with these options and select the font size you can make that a bit bigger possibly so it's easier to read um, so there's lots of different options here for you to experiment with to get that title ticker exactly the way you want it. In this case I'm just going to make it bold as well so it stands out and I think I'll make it a bit smaller the font size. It's a bit too big so we'll make it around 12 point. So once we've done that we can tick this red or we can click this red uh, sorry this tick option here we can click that and then you can see that the ticker has been positioned here you can move it around the screen so you can drag and drop it in, in any position you want you can have it going across the top just by dragging it up to the top but in this case we just want to test it so we'll just click the play button here so there's a few different ways that you can do this if you have Adobe tools on your computer so for me that that is moving way too fast to read so we're going to stretch that out a bit and we'll move it down the timeline a bit just to get it into the right sort of position DCP web tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert a Microsoft Word document into a PDF file so there's a few different ways that you can do now. this if you have Adobe tools on your computer then normally you can do that directly from Microsoft Word but sometimes you don't have those tools available and that seems to work pretty well maybe I'll move it out slightly to about this sort of position and the duration seems to be right so if this is not set to the right duration it will go very very fast so you need, depending on the text inside will depend on how wide you want that duration to be so that's how you add a ticker tape to the bottom you can go in and experiment with all the other different types of transitions and there's other types of titling here so do have a good experiment some of them scroll up and down so like uh, you know at the end of a film sometimes you have all the credits some of them are good for that some of them are good for intros it's entirely for you to go and experiment and see what works well for you okay hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial